James Gunn's The Suicide Squad trailer is here. It's awesome and hilarious. I am loving the music, the style, the vibrant colors, the violence. Also, Margot Robbie's in it, who I am madly in love with. Get in line, boys. So let's talk about the new The Suicide Squad trailer. Maybe Warner Brothers finally discovered their success formula for a good superhero movie. Make a list of all the Marvel movie directors and pick one of them. By the way, if you like this kind of content, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell notification icon for more of this stuff. So James Gunn is directing and writing this movie, who's also directed and wrote both Guardians of the Galaxy and its sequel. We also got a few people coming back from the 2016 Suicide Squad. We have Margaret Robbie, Joel Kinnaman, and Viola Davis all coming back and will be reprising their roles as Harley Quinn, Rick Flagg, and Amanda Waller. I got some Guardians of the Galaxy vibes from the trailer, but I wouldn't go as far as saying it's basically Guardians of the Galaxy with DC characters. <laughs> the trailer made it seem more like its own thing instead of something we've seen before. It's ridiculous, violent, and doesn't take itself too seriously. And right off the bat, it seems like they're calling the team the Suicide Squad and they're owning it. Which is way better than introducing the name in that really awkward way they did it in the first Suicide Squad. What, we some kind of Suicide Squad? What are we, some kind of Red Dead Redemption? What are we, some kind of Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo HD Remix? Hadouken! I will say this though, I'm gonna really miss Will Smith playing as Will Smith. <laughs> Now let's break down the trailer and start from the beginning. So the trailer starts off with this blue school bus with two yellow stripes, which is a homage to the Magic School Bus cartoon. <laughs> which was a big part of James Gunn's childhood. I might be reaching a bit with this one. So in this magic school bus, we see some of the Suicide Squad characters and a massively jacked John Cena who plays as Peacemaker. His arms are bulging. You can even see the blood vessels so clearly, like Jesus Christ. His arms are cartoonishly big. He's literally like an anime character coming to life. <laughs> By the way, John Cena is also getting his own TV show on HBO where he'll play as Peacemaker and at least one episode will be directed by James Gunn. So at this point in the trailer, it looks like they're loading up their guns and they're going on a mission. And I like how this guy is wearing a bright yellow t-shirt with Bugs Bunny on it. You know, if I was going on a suicide mission, I just think, screw it. I don't think I would care if I get caught dead in a Bugs Bunny t-shirt. So we find out they're on a rescue mission to save Harley Quinn and we see Viola Davis as Amanda Waller giving the team orders. Then Harley Quinn shows up and it doesn't look like she needs saving. She's got a red dress on and her nose is bleeding. It looks like she just came back from a fight or a date with the Joker. Hey, I don't know what kind of kinky shit they're into. So we hear Amanda Waller say that they got 10 years off their sentence if they complete the mission. And we see that they all have an explosive device in the base of their skull, which is a super clear motivation to why all these bad guys and fish are getting together and doing this mission and we eventually get this line in the trailer this is the famous suicide squad so it seems like the suicide squad is already a known team maybe they've done previous missions before and the government agency could just be adding more and more people to the team whenever any of them die we also see another quick shot of harley with that classic red and black leather suit and we see the shark man who's being voiced by sylvester stallone eating an entire human being. He just inhales the guy. Later in the trailer, we see John Cena and the rest of the team making jokes about a bag of dicks. I haven't seen him being funny in a movie before. And obviously these are small snippets, small trailer shot scenes. So we won't know how funny he is until the movie officially comes out. But maybe playing a more comedic role in movies and TV shows might actually fit him. Now the trailer ends with a giant starfish destroying a city. I initially thought the giant starfish was just James Gunn being James Gunn and going balls deep into the ridiculousness and the absurdity of this movie. But this giant ass starfish is called Starro and in the comics, it's the first villain that the Justice League ever fought. I love that the trailer focused way more on the comedy and the violence of the movie as opposed to exposing too much of the plot. Cause no one likes it when you give too much of the movie away. By the way, if you like this kind of content, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell notification icon. Also, consider supporting me on Patreon as well. What did you guys think of the trailer? Is it exactly what you wanted? Did you like it? Did you hate it? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you guys for watching, and as always, peace out.